Hey, and welcome back to FTL. I think we can do the uh, Kestrel C type now. What do you think? Actually, I've never beaten the game with Kestrel B, to be honest. Um, I got to the end, but the, I don't like the B late game. I like the B early game because it has a good, powerful early setup, and late game the setup kind of sucks. It would be really cool if each one of those basic lasers were dual lasers. That would just that would just make this ship awesome as hell. But, um, anyway, let's go to C, because it's new. Um, hard mode, of course, and enabled advanced content. You have an ion stunner and dual lasers. So, not the best combo, but at least you can technically pierce two shields. Okay, you got a cloning bay, which I like to keep online, because the ability for it to revive your crew does not work if it's not on if it's not powered unless you have an augment called DNA backup if you have DNA backup it'll clone your crew members even if it's offline you put it back online later if it's not online and your crew member dies you don't get the chance to revive them so that's why I keep it on and thanks to waffle man who's mentioning that he likes my content I can't message you directly so um because you have um like, uh, contacts enabled, only people in your contacts list can message you. And I refuse to upgrade to Google+. Plus. I just do. Google+, Plus can go eat a dick for all I care. And because of that, I, I am actually limiting myself on YouTube. But that's just the way it works. Okay, there we go. Sweet. The Ion Center only does one Ion damage, sadly. Actually, you don't have to do Auto Fire if you click on this and hold Control. Then that gun is now auto firing, and you can choose to fire your other gun whenever you wish. There, <laughs> he's got one Mantis and one Rockman. Let's see if I can. There we go. Manta, I can't repair very fast, dude. You're asking for trouble putting him there. Well, you've got the helm unguarded. Okay, this is the first sector. And offering three fuel and five missiles in the first sector is actually pretty good. So I'm, I'm going to go here because it'll, it'll have the Rebels' advancement. And I'll get one more beacon. And of course we'll get danger. And we'll fight. This one has no shields. I have no engines or shields. Which could be a problem. At least give me shields. Of course this ion gun is going to be a problem. But if I can ion stun it. And then I can dual laser it. There. Oh shit. This isn't going to be good. Um, if I drop the shields right now... Ah, oh, but the beam was on. Okay, there we go. Well, now he's pretty much fucked. Okay. And my oxygen supply is dwindling down to 75%. Okay. And... I probably don't need to continuously fire this, but whatever. I'll do it anyway for the gun experience. And since I'm probably not going to be dodging, I'll send you up to repair the clone bay. There. You just suck the life out of every room you walk into. There. This clone bay is, is nice and large, so you can have up to three people in it, which is pretty cool. The other clone bays I've had were just two rooms, only one at a time. Okay, so one, one, and fifteen. Not too impressive. But, okay, go back to that. My auction supply is down to 19%. I probably should fix that. I can't breathe! Get out of here! <laughs> if, I had a, if I had a crew of nothing but these guys, not even the Lannis Cruiser has a human. I think the Lannis Cruiser B might um, have just these guys in it. Anyway, we can go to here. Wait, did I start there? I think I started there. No, I started here. And then I went to there. And then I went to there. Okay, so if I go to here, I can go back to the store and then down to here. Although there's really little point in going to a store unless you have about 60 scrap. Unless you need repairs, of course. Offer my services. I'm not properly equipped. You bitch. Alright. Whatever, I think I'm going to ignore the store. <coughs> I'm not going to pay your toll. You piece of shit. Okay. Now... Let's fire. He's got dual lasers too. I wish they were I wish more of those were for sale. Okay, you are 
ionizing my weapons like a little tard. There. There we go. Oh, you missed. And my shields go down. Of course they do. And I think my iron stunner is not back online yet. Nope. Okay, well, I put a fire in his room. That's pretty nice. I do like that this starts out with level 2 sensors. Just makes it all the more entertaining, I suppose. Mm. Ooh, the ion stunner. Ah, never mind. Okay, but if I ion stun the helm, then he'll lose his maneuvering. But then again, it'll hit the shields. So it'll stun anyone in shields. And there's nobody in shields right now. Again, six missiles is pretty good for the first sector, so I will accept that. After the first or second sector, it's usually, you know, usually accept that. Okay, I'm attack the pirate. Ion stunner. On uh, helm room. Oh, uh, what the Christ! My shields weren't up. And now my weapons are offline. Alright, whatever. Took unnecessary hull damage there. Come on! Oh, you don't have power to do that anymore. Well, anyway, now I do. There. Didn't realize I hadn't get my shield on from that last encounter. Okay, whatever. Dude, he's got no maneuvering. He's buzzed. He's buzzing. Start. I don't. It doesn't last that long, though. Sadly. I oh, whiffed. I think these have nearly identical fire times. Yeah, they're both 10 seconds. So... I probably should wait on this weapon until the ion center actually fires. There. Now he's got no dodge chance. There we go. Could totally stun him. Oh, but of course he repairs it. Okay, 4 fuel is pretty good. It's nice to try and load up with your consumables as fast as possible. We'll go here. There might be something cool here. Won't be able to go backwards, though. Uh, so I don't need the sensor station. But I do want the extra scrap, so... I will fire upon this little bastard. Okay, he's got a beam and a flying floaty drone, so... The beam's gonna hit. Ooh, it just missed. Okay, I'm going to attack the drone module. There you go. There you go. And please hit. Oh, you didn't. Oh, well. Maybe the drone module can still get hit. And it can! Now he's dead in space. D.I.S. I will attack his maneuvering. And now he absolutely cannot dodge. Sweet. I will attack his shields. Well, it doesn't matter anyway. Two more attacks and he goes down, so I can just choose to attack whatever the hell I want. I think if you breach a room in an auto drone like this, they can't auto repair. Okay, eight scrap. Not worth it, really. There is something cool here, a distress. And I can go here, I can go to the store. I do have fuel, so if someone's going to ask for fuel or, or missiles, I'm actually pretty good. Let's board and investigate. It looks as if the ship ran out of fuel, and the crew ran out of food not long after. Despite the grisly scene that remains, you find one survivor crewman locked in the freezer, almost perfectly preserved, and apparently overlooked by the starving crew. Well, you don't want to eat an NG anyway. They're, they're freaking cyborgs. I would call them androids, but they're cyborgs, because they need oxygen. Okay, let's put him in shields. Thank you! Yay! I got a shield specialist now. Let's go here. Let's go to the store. Aid the civilian ship. This is just a drone. I could ion stun you. I could ion stun your helm. Probably won't do it. Oh, he's got one of these three charge. Haha. -ha. Oh, you just have a you just have a single laser, which is what the Kestrel B starts out with. It looks almost identical to dual lasers, only not quite. It's a little bit less chubby. I get him confused a little bit. Dual lasers and uh, single lasers. Okay. Let's, um... You need two ion stunner hits 
for that to actually come into come into play at all. It's just not enough time to take advantage of it with the weaponry they start you with. The color scheme of this looks almost like a pirate. In fact, it is a pirate. Look, see the little octopus? He repairs my three hull points and I get more scrap. Yeah, see, this is actually pirate markings, so... You'd think with this design, you wouldn't attract rebel attention as much. Okay, we'll store... I don't want to go to this place. That's the asteroid field, and I don't have two shields. So, you're selling stuff. Not a second page? I've come to expect that. I can't even buy the mind control. Um, I'm not, I can't sell anything. It's Would it be worth buying the fuel? Some people would say no, some people would say yes, because we are in the first sector, and you do run out of fuel. But 60 scrap isn't all that much. You need 50 just to get level 2 shields, and about 90 to power it, so... If I go here, and then here, I might be able to go here. We'll find out. But there's a ship in that area. It doesn't always mean it's hostile, but most of the time. Yeah, see, intervene, intervene to defend the outpost. He's got a single burst laser and a hull laser, which could be problematic. Because I can't absorb two shots. I can only absorb one. Oh, but it whiffed. You just whiffed. Right, I'm going to hit your engines, and I'm going to eye on your engines. Because why not? And you'll go down in this hit because you have absolutely no maneuvering. There we go. And the shipwrecks part giving me three fuel, one drone, and eight scrap. And the outpost gives me one more missile, one more drone, and twelve scrap. Not too bad, not too bad. So if I go here, I could then go here. If I go here and then here, I definitely won't be able to hit that one. The question is, is do I have three jumps? Because it goes up to here, so it's like one, two... So I could potentially have four. So one, two, three, four, if I measure this right. Which, I don't know. It's really hard to determine distance on that. So... If it's over there, and there, so you get one jump, two jump, See, I don't know. Damn it. I bet you anything I could go all the way up to here and then back down. But I'll go here. And then here. And then here. Might not be optimal, but it's safer. And you don't have the weaponry to deal with the rebel ship. Hell! You... If I give you a fuel, you'll give me five missiles, which is a good deal. That's why I collect all this stuff. Except the bribe... No, I don't want to accept your bribe. I would much rather attack you. You have Flak 1. Actually, I want to wait for the Ion Stunner to hit first. Flak takes a few seconds to fire. Oh, bitch. I knew I was going to get hit. Take a whole point of damage there. And he's going to fire again. Oh my god, I can't hit him. Damn! That's not good. Finally! Oh, his flak is still online. Of course, why wouldn't it be online? Oh, good. That didn't really do anything. Alright, now your weapons are offline, you whore. You cock bagel. Okay, get up there. If your weapon's offline, I can go and start repairing shit. He's gonna give me a small bomb. You know what, I'll accept. Because it's a weapon. I probably won't use it, but I do have an impressive array of missiles right now. Which is really cool. You're going to finish way before he does. There. Help him out. He's only human. Ha 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 ha. Ah, you see what I did there? <laughs> Alright, look, we had the same markings! Anyway. Small bomb. I know, it only does two system damage and no hull damage. So it's not the best. Um, I do want to use it, actually. No, I don't have the power to do anything. Alright, well, what are you going to do, right? Yeah, see, if I go here, let's just find out. Let's find out if I could have made that jump. I don't think I could have. My, my sources say no. Four missiles for five fuel. <sighs> That's actually a really bad deal. How does that catch your eye? Because missiles are, are much more expensive than fuel. 
you know, I would say no. Because, but the five fuel, again, for early stages, it's good to have like 30 fuel. Um, I'm not using the missiles per se. I'll do it. I mean, I got a small bomb now, but yes, I wouldn't have been able to make it. So yay, I knew it. I don't want to go to nebulas because very the few of the options are there for you. The the med bay option and the sensor option aren't there for you. Speaking of the med bay, I don't have a med bay, so I can't synthesize cures for colonists. But sensors maybe, you know. Attack the pirate. I have a small bomb, which takes longer to charge than any one of these two items. He's got a single laser and an ion, uh, heavy ion. So two ion at 13 damage. 13 seconds, two ion. Yeah. It's offline. Now he can't hope. He doesn't have a prayer now. As long as my ion keeps hitting. Nope. But as long as this hits, yeah, there you go. He's going to repair. He doesn't have healing of any kind. The bay would be here, I suppose, if he had a cloning bay or a medical bay. They're heading for the medical frigate. Yes, they are. Okay. Let's attack his shields. Haha, -ha, now he's got zero maneuvering. How about that? The mantis is gonna fix the shields. Yeah, that's 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 fucking rich. Alright, well he doesn't have a choice. Because this guy is busy doing the weapons. We need both these weapons! Forget it, forget it, we're pirates, we know. We want our lives. Nope. You, my friend, give me abysmal stuff, but I get double the rewards, which are great. I only have thirty three scrap though. To maximize the utility of that store would require a couple jumps. See, this actually... I can fuck around in here for a while. Um, if I actually just ignore the store and go up through here, come down, come this way, and I can fuck about in here, and go here, then down... Yeah, I probably should do that and ignore the store. Although I do need power. There. Now I can have two bars of shields. There we go. And, yeah, I'll probably ignore it. I don't have any money anyway. <laughs> I get free stuff. Free stuff is fine. Oh, there's another store. What do you know? I probably don't care. Unless I get 100 scrap from this beacon, it probably won't matter. I will get to the station. You have two lasers, but I can absorb two, so... Ha, ha, ha. You, my friend, have not a prayer. Then I got that second part of shields, and now you have no maneuvering. You are screwed. For some reason, I'm mining your engines because why not? <coughs> awesome. All right, dual lasers. I'm just gonna take down every system you have because it's fun. Yeah. I would love a burst laser mark too. Right now, it would be so so nice. And apparently. Investigate the station after 14 scrap, and I get nine more scrap for missiles and a drone part, which is good. I think I'll, 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 I can, I can deal with that. And it looks like I have intruders on board who are going from here to here. Okay. Um, if I man the doors, and I put you in this to suffocate them, and I put you in there. Don't worry, I'll move out my guys when the air gets sucked out. It'll take him a while to suck the air, though. And... There we go. Now, book it. Book it. Get out of there. Ha ha ha. I love suffocation damage. Well, when it's not me receiving the suffocation damage, that is. Let's, uh... Let's, uh... Vent the room. And then... There should be air in there. There we go. Yeah. But we can't jump because I took out power. Oh, no, I, I can't jump because I don't have a pilot. Right. I should probably upgrade doors before I forget. Yeah. And engines. Yeah, there you go. Now I can actually power more engines when I get more power. That'll also give me a buffer zone so I won't lose maneuvering. All right. Yes, I know, Kusi, you're almost dead. I have a missile. I don't like missiles. He's, it's a Leto, I think. The really shitty one, that, but it has like a very quick like 8 second load up time. 
great. Maybe it's 10 seconds. Oh, you murdered my... Uh-oh. Oh, good, I, I got him just in time. Ha, ha, ha. See, if, if his corpse hadn't still been there, I wouldn't have been able to do that. I'm going to take off the oxygen and put it in some dodge. Please hit. There you go. All right. Uh, well, Weps is down, so... Okay, there we go. I know he lost some skill, but nothing I can do about that. There we go. Just attack the shields, maybe. But if he gets that missile launcher back online, I won't be happy. Yeah, he's got it back online. Alright. Hopefully I'll get my shot off before his. And both will hit. Thank you. Okay, well, no, that didn't take away his power much. So he's going to get his missile off, and I won't be able to dodge it. Yeah... Two hull damage, which was unnecessary, but I took it anyway. Why is there no air? Because I turned off oxygen, that's why. God damn. Okay, six fuel. Six fuel. And six missiles. Um, I'll accept. Oh, but there's a missile inbound. You bitch. Good thing I moved his ass out of there. Alright, go in there and help him. Oh, there's a thingy. You know what? You don't need to breathe. Go in there and fix it. That's the one thing these guys are really awesome for. Fixing breaches. You know, if you're an A, if you're an an anaerobic creature, I think you might be silicon-based instead of carbon-based. Even though, to be fair, most organics would have to be carbon-based because of just the sheer chemistry of carbon. It just bonds with so much crap. Um, the amount of stuff carbon bonds with as opposed to the stuff silicon would bond with or something. Let's search the wreckage. I lost my dude. Oh, but he came back! Wait a minute, this wasn't powered. Okay, it wasn't powered, but... I'll take it. Sweet! I get free stuff! And he's full health. He doesn't have his skills, though. He's lost some skills, but whatever. I don't have oxygen. I need oxygen. Can't live without oxygen. Okay. Dual lasers. I don't have any power. That's because we're in an ion storm. You dork. Alright. I'm going to go here and then here. I can probably fuck about in the ion field a little bit longer. And then... Yeah. Search among the stores and nobody will sell to me. Of course they won't. Because they're dicks like that. Alright. Ion Stunner. I don't actually need to shoot it first. I'll just, uh... Shoot weapons. Oh, he's gonna charge up. He's trying to get uh, both my shield bars gone. But now his weapons are offline. User is offline. Fire! He's got a fire in there. It doesn't matter because there's no oxygen anyway. But, it's still fun. And I did hit his helm, which only had level 1 helms, so... There you go. I should get my helm upgraded with, after I get some power. Just to have a buffer zone in case it, you know, attacks it. And it gives me that more evasion when I don't have anyone in piloting. And 15 scrap, and a couple of goodies. Let's see what's at this planet. Nothing. It was a boob. If I go here, if I go... No, I can't. But if I go here, I can make my way back down. And, yeah, it's a pirate. Okay, let's just stun you and shoot you. And where are you? Um, you're here, going into here. I'm going to lose up some evade doing this, but the Mantis will... He'll attack him. He'll kill him. Um, yeah. Okay, now if I turn the oxygen off with no oxygen in this room, the mantis will be suffocating. Okay, see, now he goes away. Ha ha ha. Alright. There we go. Weapons are offline. I will take his shield, hopefully, and get it offline too. Fortunately, it's all been dual lasers or single lasers. 
this first two sectors, but that's going to change the third sector. Without a better weapon for third sector, I'm going to be at a loss here because I can't pierce very much. And I need power. A couple more units of power. There we go. I think I'll just concentrate more on the shields. There you go, one more shot. He should go down. And... No! He... he oh well. I was, if the first one had hit, the second one was guaranteed to hit. But, whatever. And he does go down. Alright. And I get some stuff, which is not that impressive. Um, go here, 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 exit. Yeah. Maximize my potential for scrap. I should have gotten myself more power. Two drone parts, which I'm not using, for ten fuel. Pretty damn decent deal. Let's give myself a couple more power bars. That way I can do power, power. There we go. I've got all three items online that I want online. And now I can concentrate on more engines or the third bar of shields. Oh, you're going to just be a chump, huh? Okay, well, the ion stunner can hit your shields, and hopefully it'll hit. The small bomb I will use on the helm, and then, actually, I will hit the helm. Okay, he's delayed. I don't need the small bomb anymore, but whatever, it hit anyway. Alright, well, his weapons aren't a threat to me, so there we go. With his helm offline, it doesn't really make a difference. I'll hit his engines to delay him further, so his auto repair will have more of a hard time. There you go. And then I'll hit his shields. I like having two bars right now when they don't have missiles. I need a drone control bay and a defense mark one. That way I'll have missile defense. You know, I could exploit this. Because this guy's shooting. I can, you can get training off of this when the auto drone throws a drone at you. If it's not one of the situations where it's trying to run to warn the rebels, you can just not destroy it and get training off of it, and it's a really good way to exploit. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna go here, and then I could go here maybe. Well, it depends on how much, see, I don't know how much distance I'll lose by going out of the nebula field and back in. Like right here. If I go here, I think this might be doubled, so it might be to here. So yeah, then I wouldn't be able to make two jumps there, there, then back, so I'll probably just go here. I might have been able to, but there's no guarantee. I'm going to aid the civilian ship. He's got a missile launcher. Of course he does. What's eye on his shields and go from there? I could small bomb his weapons, but it's not going to... It's not going to... There we go. Ah! It's not going to hit before that. Okay, two damage. Sucks. I'm down below. I could small bomb his shields, but... Uh, let's ion blast them. There we go. There you go. Now his weapons are offline. Now nah, I feel better. It takes a little bit of, of synergy to alternate between the ion stunner and the dual lasers because they like to charge at the same time and the dual lasers usually hit first. Well, they always do if you do that. Now, there we go. Now his shield is offline. I should probably ion stun his weapon. There you go. He has no evade anyway, so he's pretty much screwed. And he goes down. Three field, two missiles, 14 scrap. And I get a Mantis crew member. You know, I'm not going to complain about that. I'll put him on doors. Because it's great to have level three doors at level two cost. Yeah, it looks like next jump it would have been beyond the exit beacon. So I, I did good. I made, a great, I made a good judgment call on that one. Okay, continue on. Nothing. Next sector. I would go Mantis Control, but I don't really have a really good well, civilian sector, Mantis. There's no real... P there's a benefit to the civilian sector. There's a benefit to the Mantis Control. Let's go the Mantis Control. A little bit more dangerous, but because of borders. Uh, okay, well, I have 25 scrap, which really isn't enough to do much. But I could give myself one more power, which you might think I don't need, but you always need power. Um, I could do Helm, which people usually ignore that till the end. I think it might be okay, because look, you get 50% evasion when you're not in, then 80%. That's much better than that crap they gave you before, like, what was it, like 15 or 20% and then 30%? It was really shitty. So, that's actually pretty decent, because then I can just 
run into sensors if I have to, and get half evasion. Um, although I probably should save up and get maybe some more engines at that point. Alright. Besides, there might be a store that I could take advantage of.